The great white shark is a formidable predator, equipped with rows of razor-sharp teeth that are unforgiving during their infamous sneak attacks. These ruthless sea creatures move with such precision and speed that their victims have no chance to react, making them a dangerous species of shark. A man named Randall Fry, a 50-year-old father of one, was an ocean enthusiast who loved spending every waking moment in the expanse of oceans. On a sunny Sunday afternoon in August 2004, Randall and his diving buddies Cliff Zimmerman and Red Bartley set out to the Mendocino coast of Abalone to catch some of the marine snails that were common in the area. The trio was aboard a 28-foot fishing boat named Dolphin, bursting with excitement as the cool ocean breeze brushed against their bodies. They combed the turquoise ocean until they all agreed that the sheltered cove at Cabas Silarock was the perfect spot for abalone hunting. Before setting foot in the water, they quickly scanned the ocean for sharks or sea lions, as great white sharks are fond of trailing them. Once the coast was clear, Randall wasted no time and jumped into the waters. A few minutes later, Cliff joined him since abalones could only be caught through free diving in the 15-foot deep waters. While Randall drifted farther away from the boat, Cliff remained close by because he was having trouble with his equipment. For some reason, his mask kept fogging up. Bartley chose to stay behind and keep an eye out for any danger while on the deck of the boat. He decided to keep himself busy by taking out his fishing rod, hooking the bait, and casting it into the water. Within no time, Bartley had landed a black rock cod before the rest could catch their first abalone. Randy was now three feet away from Cliff, who was trying to catch up but still struggling with his mask afloat. They chatted away and made fun as their heads bobbed up and down with every breath the sea took. Randy was yearning to get started with the adventure and couldn't wait a minute longer for Cliff to finish fiddling with his equipment, so he decided to dive deeper not wanting to miss out on the fun. Cliff hurriedly cleaned his foggy mask off and dipped his head into the water to suction his mask onto his head. As his face broke the surface of the water, the unexpected happened. He could feel the pressure of something big passing near him. He stuck his head out of the water and looked around, hoping to see the submariner speedboat that had just gone past him. In a horrific turn of events, Cliff's eyes were met with a large dorsal fin sticking out of the water. All he knew and needed to know was that the fish was big enough to kill. Before his screams of terror could reach Randall and warn him of the impending danger, the blue ocean suddenly turned crimson. Out of nowhere, the 18-foot great white shark grabbed Randall by his throat and tore his head off, killing him instantly. Copious amounts of blood were seen gushing to the water's surface before both the shark and Randy disappeared into the murkiness of the water. For a moment, Cliff thought that he was right in the middle of a horror movie, but the now strong waves quickly slapped him back to his senses. Cliff, who had spent a good amount of his life on this coast, had heard of many previous shark attacks, but none were fatal. For a shark attack as fatal as Randy's to happen right before his eyes was unbelievable. He could not shake the feeling that a few seconds ago, that could have been him. However, he was still not yet safe from the monstrous creature 